This is a special egg laid on behalf of a very big bird, an airline to be precise. It's a clever and striking image designed to convey the company's concern for safety. The airline handles its customers with as much care and attention as it would handle a fragile egg. And the studio handles its egg with as much care and attention as it would handle its top model. The pose, the composition, the lighting, the full treatment. Every photographer has his own pet methods, for photography is an individual art. Here, the subject is bed linen. Too commercial, too prosaic to be called art? The photographer's job is to bring out the poetry in everyday articles, to summon up an atmosphere of freshness, cleanness and softness. He must create a feeling of intimacy. It's to be like an enjoyable peep through someone else's keyhole. The creation of one vital moment is preceded by hours of painstaking preparation. And the model, she takes it all lying down. Her reward might be some 75 pounds for the day's work, and that should help her sleep tight. Exposure, the photograph, not the model. Fashion photography with children presents different problems. Everyone expects children to look natural, so the photographer has to keep his model's mind suitably occupied. He builds a complete playground in the studio so the children can enjoy themselves. Then he sneaks up on them and snaps them unawares before they've got the chance to stop looking natural. is aiming high. The landscape is conveniently provided in the studio by a projector. And now, thanks to the magic of the camera, the only apparatus you need to be able to fly is the right uniform. This photo will be for a poster, three feet by four feet. It can only be taken with a special type of camera. Posters with pretty girls are always welcome, but they're not exactly unusual. Put one with the devil and the scene becomes a bit more lively. Set them against a background of genuine hell fire from the studio smoke machine, and there you have a picture that'll catch the eye. And with a bit of luck, sell the product as well.
another department in the underworld, fashion for an age of decadence. The photographer seems to throw his hands in the air and let chaos arrange his models, but appearances can be deceptive. He uses a wide-angle lens to create a deliberate distortion of reality. Gone are the pure ideals of yesterday, and in their place is the lax untidiness of the space age, the pop age. Perhaps you don't like it, but you will look at it. The creations with alluring mannequins he puts in the setting of a gambling den. With the silhouette effects, he can show more than just a few pieces of coloured cloth. He's not merely photographing three girls. He's striving after something richer and more evocative, like a beautiful flower opening out in a wilderness of vice. some hope of the perfect picture emerging from it. The models are just accessories. Their job is to make even a sack of coal look like part of the decorations of Buckingham Palace. They have to make every product desirable and attractive. More light, more smoke. An advertisement for London Fog, perhaps. Now the old wind machine to get things moving. Puff! blow, swish and swirl, and then shoot. This is how our photographer gets his fashion photographs. Warming up the models, he calls them. But the end result of this great charade comes from a camera in the background that the models don't even notice. 